as an independent filmmaker, there's always this question about like, how are we going to make the film? Because, of course, we have the story and we want people to, to enjoy, to discover and to feel the emotions that we have. But also, making a film talking about cinema is also talking about aesthetic and beauty. And the challenge is that you have little money, your story is very important, but how are you going to transform it into a powerful and visual, um, engaging uh, material? And for me, being in Kinshasa, being in the country, which is so ruined, was even more complicated because shooting in film, like, you know, the classical, the classical film was impossible because it was too complicated uh, to, 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 to... Because shooting in film means that you have to send uh, the print overseas and it has to come back, you know, it was really complicated and expensive. And I had to find a new way to kind of like bring it together. At the time there was the, the red camera, which was really uh, efficient and really popular. But at the same time, a camera like the red, I think functioned in like the environment like this, you know, when if there's a problem, you can go to the lab, they're gonna fix the camera or send you another one. But being in Kinshasa is like being in a place where all that is impossible. And I was like resisting to that and happily, there was this camera called the Canon D5, which was like, at the time, were used for like only for steel camera, but some people have used it to shoot some uh, commercials. And with the DOP, Antoine Rock, which is a French uh, a DOP, who has a lot of experience at the time, he had shot like 40 feature films and more. Actually, it was interesting to work with that person who is mature enough to take some risk. And we could decide to say, okay, we're going to test this camera, okay, we're going to go for this like official film with a steel camera, but aesthetically, this camera gives us a chance to really uh, bring the beauty that we imagine about this story, okay? Because being a filmmaker is all about also creating an environment, creating an atmosphere where people go to the cinema, sit and say, wow, this is a show. And also it was an opportunity for me to show Africa and to show Kinshasa in a way that I have never been seen before. All the colors, all the, um, the documentary part, where you feel the reality, but you also feel the texture of the world, you also feel the texture of the interiors, you know, in houses and little streets. In that perspective, it was really a challenge, you know, to, to shoot with this uh, small camera, the steel camera, and same time to create an aesthetic will be like real cinema. And like it was also, our first film in 26 years, I really wanted to have something special. When I say special, because people look at, at the image of the beauty, the darkness, and like all the light, but also aesthetic means also sound, you know. We made a lot of efforts to create this little atmosphere to recreate Kinshasa, you know, because most of it, I mean, the big part of it was recreated in studios, and then we did a huge, huge work in the details that, you know, it's like sound and image goes, I think, pretty well. And I'm quite proud of that achievement.